And here we are on Royal Caribbean's Serenade of the Seas for its last adventure out of Tampa for now. Cabin 780. Bring that to you in about eight seconds. All right, so here we are, Cabin 780. This is on the port side, which we usually do not book on the port side. Don't ask me why, I don't know. All right, let's start out where we are. We are pretty much midship, as you can see. And we're right about there. Can't get more mid than that, I guess. Maybe one over. <laughs> All right, so let's start over here. We got cabinets. One thing about Royal is they give you lots of shelves. It is a divided cabinet. It's the same thing on the side, the ladder, I'll show you that in a second. Old style thermostats, which is freezing in this room right now. Love Royals doors on their showers actually plenty of room in there again royal love mirrors there's lots of mirrors got a small sofa here kind of like our last cabin on the serenade here but uh, the one we had on the Grander and on the Independence was a lot bigger. The balcony was a lot wider. All right, again, on Royal, you'll notice there are no USB ports on either side. Small TV, they're safe, and a couple more shelves. I told you on the last carnival one, never had a ship without a air dryer on it. And then the same thing, more drawers. And your little mini fridge. Bed. And again, as I always say, I love the doors the way they open. They are sliders. But this is the negative about this balcony. That's not the negative. <laughs> the negative is this is your view. But beggars can't be choosy, and this was a free cabin. So we're not really complaining. And that's pretty much it. Here's an overall view. of the room. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing.